What is the big news this week? Well, a bank collapses, another bank is about to collapse, the Fed raises interest rates, gold prices skyrocket, and then they plummet the very next day. What the f is going on? Let's get into it. How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you blast that subscribe button, get the bell notification clicked. That way you get updated with any new content. Today I wanted to talk about the recent bank closures. Another bank is on the verge of collapse. We're going to get into that in just a few moments. I also want to talk about the Fed raising interest rates and then the gold prices being up and down. It's just absolute insanity. Having said that, I want to jump over to the computer so we can take a closer look at all of this information. And then we're going to jump back here so I can wrap up the rest of this video. Okay, so let's take a look here. Another bank collapse as Pacific Western Bank stocks fall. Fears of crisis resurface. Before we look in this, uh, look in this, look at this article a little closer, I do want to show you this graphic here that's showing the U.S. bank failures by total bank assets. Uh, this is from 2021 to 2023. And here what you see, a big bank, Washington Mutual. This was, uh, when was this? Back in 2000, flipping A, I don't even remember. Back in, uh, Alexa, when did Washington Mutual Bank collapse? From dandavieri.com. Washington Mutual Bank failed on September 25th, 2008. All right, Alexa, thank you, enough. All right, so 2008, Washington Mutual collapsed right during the uh, height of the uh, big, big crisis that we had back then. But you can see here, here's the thing that you should definitely look at. Uh, Signature Bank, SVB, First Republic. This is showing you the percentages in the total assets of the those three banks in the banking system. People within the stacking community are definitely going to try to uh, harp on the fact that there are these three bank closures. I'm not saying that it's not a serious issue, but they're definitely going to play into the fears. Big channels within the stacking community. Um, what you should notice, and I wanna point this out, uh, by the numbers, the three banks that failed this year, Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic, and Signature Bank account for 2.4% of all assets in the banking sector. Washington Mutual alone had more than 2.7, okay? So they had more of the banking sector's assets than these three banks alone. Now, here's the thing. We're definitely not out of this yet because, again, right here, uh, Pacific Western is like the next one that's looking to uh, essentially collapse, okay? Um, First Republic Bank collapsed earlier this week. Bankers like the head of JP Morgan said that uh, thought that the worst of the banking crisis was coming to a close. Skim through all of this, blah, 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 blah. What are the reasons that the three banks failed? Okay, they're just failing because they're run by a bunch of doof noggins. What's being done to fix this? The Fed's going to stop in, try to work out some sweetheart deals for some of the big banks to come in and buy them. Uh, but he, where's the part that I... All right. Here's the thing. Okay, is your money in a bank safe? All right. Uh, research indicates Americans are increasingly worried about their safety. Um, recently, there was a Gallup poll found 48% of U.S. adults say they are concerned about the safety of the bank that they've got deposited in the financial institutions. This was only done for a sample of a thousand people. All right. So you're looking at 50% out of the thousand. So 480 of those people are fearful. Um, and when we come down here a little bit more, experts have said there's no uh, reason customers need to worry. 250,000 uh, limit of insurance for the FDIC, but depositors are, uh, let's see here, uh, concerned about the limit on multiple accounts at different banks to keep costs around 250,000 cap or open a joint checking uh, account that would insure up to 500,000 in the account so there's options for you okay but there again we've got a mixed sampling of only a thousand people i'm not too uh concerned about that but being that there's still banks closing and that there are more bank closures said to be on the way again you should be stacking gold and you should have some sort of fiat cash on hand uh make sure if you don't have cash on hand, you definitely want to get some. 
Um, I say this though all the time that you should have money, not just in the bank, have some cash on hand in case of emergency. That being said, I do think that precious metals, gold and silver are great assets to have, specifically gold. Um, I, I view gold as your $100 bills and silver as your $1 bills and fives, if that makes any sense. Those of you that are into stacking, you would kind of understand what I'm talking about there. Um, just like when you should have cash on hand, you should have hundreds, but also have your small bills, right? In case of power outage and power's gone with uh, for a couple of weeks and people can't make change. You're going to need one fives and tens. You should have hundreds as well. I mean, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Have a variety, okay? So looking at the bank failures, uh, you should definitely have some cash and gold and silver. But now talking about the Fed, all right, the Fed raised interest rates yet again. They're saying, though, now it looks like it's probably going to be its final attack on inflation uh, with signs of a softening job market, even though we had, I think, just it was reported like another 290,000 uh, jobs added. Uh, slower economic growth. This could be the central bank's last rate hike for a while, especially as turmoil in the banking sector raises new uncertainties. Now, I'm also going to be putting uh, these links for these articles uh, in the description of the video, uh, prices in March were up 4.2% from a year ago. According to the Fed, has the Fed done enough? I mean, I'm not going to read through this whole thing. A lot of people uh, can essentially see through the lines. Okay, the Fed is doing what it can to try to rein uh, inflation in a bit. Okay, people are uh, really, really uh, feeling this um, because just... Just the fact that the Fed has been raising interest rates consistently now for what feels like forever, uh, it's definitely playing a toll on how banks can lend money, how uh, banks are operating. We're seeing banks fail partly because of this. But uh, the, the thing within the stacking community, gold and the uh, precious metals markets Anytime that the Fed raises interest rates, we know that that strengthens the dollar. And when you have a stronger dollar, you have softening prices within the precious metals uh, markets. However, even though this happened, we saw that gold jumped like 35, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. So fast forward to today. Okay, now we're seeing that gold has dropped 35 bucks from the start of today's trading we're down to around 2014 dollars silver's dropped 42 cents down to 26 25 and a half i'm not concerned um i honestly would prefer that gold continues to tank um just because i am really bullish on gold and i am in an acquisition mode so i really recommend that people do consider buying uh more gold if at all possible silver too I'm not much into stacking silver, but I definitely think that silver has a little bit more potential for growth. We do know that back in 2008 or 2011, uh, silver had reached a $48 mark, which is its all-time highs. So we're seeing that essentially, you know, we're about half of where it once was. So a lot of people are bullish on silver. I personally do think, though, that gold has more room as well. Um, anyway, let's jump over so I could give you my final thoughts. So the one recommendation that I would basically say for all of you, if you don't have cash out of the bank, I would say definitely have some on hand, not a crazy amount, but you want to have maybe I would say at least one to three months worth of cash on hand as like an emergency fund, just in case. Now I'm not saying that you should go to your bank and take everything out now because the, the your bank is going to collapse. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, you should always have some cash on hand for any sort of an emergency. That's what I've always said, and I'll continue to say so. I actually just picked up a little bit more out of the bank just the other day. Um, I just like to have some on hand just in case. But I would say uh, more so is that you should be stacking gold. You should be stacking it consistently. And I would recommend that you should also consider some fractional gold as well. Now, the one thing that you definitely need to understand is that one ounce gold 
obviously is far better when it comes to premiums than one tenth ounce gold. But like anything, I do think that you shouldn't have all of your eggs in one basket. I think that you should have one uh, ounce gold. I think you should have tenth ounce gold and some gold in between. Probably I would say quarter ounce gold as well if you can afford it. Obviously buy whatever you can afford, but I definitely recommend that you should be buying gold consistently. This way you dollar cost average. I'm not saying that you should go out and dump all of your money into gold. I just think that this is something that you should be doing on a consistent basis. I've always said that. And if you haven't seen some of my recent videos, I do recommend different types of gold over others. I don't think right now would be a great time for you to be buying uh, American Gold Eagles. If you didn't see that video, there's plenty of other options available. So definitely look into whatever gold you can kind of get that is at a reasonable rate, but also has some good resale potential. Again, Again, I've talked about this so many times definitely check out my previous videos but the takeaway here is don't freak out don't panic definitely want to have some cash on hand and continue to stack gold on a consistent basis but I am curious as to what your thoughts are on everything with the bank closures the Fed interest rates and the gold prices please definitely leave your comments down below